Hey guys, welcome back to another Land Out of Time guide. So in this video, I will be explaining to you guys how the new totems work. And I will also tell you guys where you can actually get all of these pieces. And also some map locations where some of the pieces are just located on Anachronia. So totems are items that can be crafted by combining the totem top, middle, and bottom. And once combined, they can provide some really useful benefits. Um, now, the only problem is that they can be fairly difficult to obtain, or some of them can. But currently, there are seven different totems, which can be obtained on Anachronia. And the benefits of these totems are actually active all across Gilinor, which is really nice. Um, and you can actually have three of them active at a time. So in this guide, I'll be going through all seven totems and show you guys their benefits and their, their effects, which are really cool. And I'll also show you guys where you can find some of these pieces or, or how to get all of them. Um, some of the pieces are just located around the map. So I'll show you guys where all of those are and I'll also tell you how you can get, can get the other ones. So we're now looking at the first totem, which is the totem of treasure. And this totem has a simple but useful effect, so it reduces the number of steps required to complete a clue scroll by one. Um, so this is extremely useful for those people who just love clue scrolls. And you can obtain the top piece of the totem while randomly doing big game hunter. The middle piece is gained while on the Anachronia agility course. And then the base reward is for finding 20 of the ancient zygomites and the ancient zygomites this will go further on in some of the other totems so right here is just a map of all of the locations of the zygomites you can also find this in the description i have a link to the full picture if you guys want to just blow it up and actually find all of the zygomites um, this will really help when looking for other totems as well the next totem is the Totem of Navigation, and this totem reduces the duration of voyages from the player-owned port. Now, so the top part of this totem can be found in the Rebel East of the new Slayer Master. So, as you can see, it is located on the UR here, on the map, and here is just a little quick video of me searching the Rebel and getting this totem. The middle piece is obtained by 40 of the ancient zygomites. And again, the map for the location of all ancient zygomites will be in the description down below. So that should really help. As for the base for the totem of navigation, it is found by cutting an overgrown idol. And then you want to search it at the end. Now, it would be much easier to do this with friends as their progress counts as well, so it starts off with a bunch of vines around it, and that does take quite a while to actually cut. Now, once you have cut all the vines, including the ones on the idol, you should be able to search it, and it will give you the bottom piece of the Totem of Navigation. Moving on to the Totem of Crystal. So this totem reduces the Elven Clan lockout period while pickpocketing by 25%. And then the top piece for this totem is obtained randomly on the Anachronia Agility course. The middle piece is found in the rubble of the ruins northeast of the base camp. So as you can see here on this map, it is located right here. Uh, and I do have a little bit of a clip showing exactly where this piece can be found. The base for the Totem of Crystal can be purchased from the Herbie Werby Reward Shop. And this is pretty much just a, a simple mini game, or uh, it's a weekly D&D that you can actually do. And you get 100 points every time you do it. Uh, the Totem piece costs 200, so... You'll just need to do it twice to actually purchase this totem piece. Moving on to the Totem of the Abyss. This totem is actually really cool. Its effect is that it allows teleportation to itself when placed. So you can just imagine how useful that actually is. As for the three parts to make it, 
The top component is bought from the Herbie Werby reward shop for 200 spirit points. And then the middle one is obtained randomly while doing the big game hunter. As for the base, that is found by searching the rubble in the southern ruins in Anachronia near the yellow salamanders. So as you can see, the base is located on the map right here. And here is that little clip showing exactly where it is. The next totem is the Totem of Intimidation. And this totem allows skipping the kill count requirement to access the God Wars Dungeon 1. Uh, excluding next, so this is a pretty neat totem. As for the top, middle, and base, the top is found by searching the rubble slightly north of the ruins. Um, and as you can see, it's located on the map right here. And here's that clip showing exactly where it is. And the third part, the base, that is obtained while killing Slayer monsters on the island, and this can be off task. Now moving on to the next totem, we have the Totem of Summoning. So this totem actually does increase the duration of summoned familiars by 10%, so you know, a pretty decent ability. Um, as for the top, middle, and base, the top is obtained randomly while on the Anaconia Agility course. And then the middle is obtained randomly while killing Slayer monsters on the island, and this can also be off task. The base is obtained randomly while doing the big game Hunter. As for the seventh and final totem, which is the Totem of Auras, this totem's ability reduces the cooldown of auras by 15%. And then to obtain this totem, you will get the top by pulling all 60 ancient zygomites. Again, the picture and location of all zygomites is in the description down below. And then the middle totem part is obtained randomly while killing slayer monsters on the island. Again, it can be off task. And as for the base, this is obtained randomly while on the Anachronia Agility course. Anyway guys, that is it for all seven of the totems. So I really hope you guys did find this guide helpful. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for more RuneScape 3 content. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.